connected to it and I liked it and I thought that it was a story that needed to be told. In 2014, when I heard the script, uh, Prakar and me went to Kashi, to Varanasi to actually do a recce and we were there for 15 days just going to Mukti Dham, meeting Pandeji, uh, you know, the, the guy who looked after Mukti Bhavan and we would actually see, you know, dead bodies being picked up in front of us and how people checked in over there or agar up, if you don't uh, die at Mukti Bhavan, you're asked to please leave in 30 days. This whole concept was just so, uh, it was so unique. I mean, I've never heard of this, that Mukti Bhavan actually exists, existed. And then there was an, a newspaper article also which said Kashi Karvat, the final halt. Kaise log jate hai Varanasi, you know, marne ke liye aane lagta hai, salvation milega and what happens then. That's how, uh, you know, I like the script and I thought that it's a story that needs to be told. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, well, that's a very difficult uh, choice to make. There are many points in his life, uh, even though it's a short film, you yeah. can, you see his entire life uh, in front of you. Some happens in flashbacks, some happens in present tense. I, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, there are a couple of uh, places where as an actor, I was supposed to just use my imagination because it has not happened to me before. There is no emotional or sense memory of, you know, what normally actors depend on emotional memory or sense memory to recreate certain uh, reactions or expressions but when I was you know when that scene where the doctor tells me that you are going to die that was one you know for me a very tough reaction to make because uh, no one has told me this before <laughs> and uh, I hope for many years no one tells me this before but uh, when uh, that was one uh, very challenging and secondly to depict to depict a man who is in constant physical pain and uh, not really talking too much but only absorbing and reacting to whatever is happening around him is by itself uh, uh, a very nice and a challenging thing for an actor to do because uh, there are many uh, uh, actors who, who sometimes choose the scripts uh, according to the number of lines that they have <laughs> but but uh, when you have to remain silent for such a long time and he starts speaking a little only at the la later part in the latter part of the film and uh, becomes animated also in the latter part of the film uh, otherwise he is a man who has seen death and he is waiting for it so to do to do that was itself a very uh, challenging process. Not a not a particular moment, but that entire uh, journey of that man. And uh, thank you, Darshanji, again. I think it is definitely our film, and without the cooperation of my entire cast and crew, this would have not been possible. I was very lucky to also have Oscar Award winner Rasul Pukuti do the sound design of my film. And I had Kailash Kheji who did such a lovely, brilliant song in the film. And uh, a fantastic cinematographer called Inderjeet Bansal, you know, who was the DOP of the film. And overall, a lovely, lovely team, you know, whether, uh, um, you know, I, I don't want to forget anybody, but uh, if you'll have any questions, I mean, I could be open to answering them later on. But this has definitely not just happened because of me. This. I cannot take credit for this because so many people have, you know, invested so much energy, time, you know, emotion into this film and that is why I feel that this film has a soul of its own and uh, that is what was important for me, you know, because I just didn't want it to be very technically told. I wanted it to touch the hearts, you know, and a chord in everyone's heart and that's what, you know, luckily is coming across now. Thank you so much, Aarti. Ma'am. Right, right. Sir, Samne, sir. Right here. Ma'am, Samne. Aarti, ma'am, start from right side. Ma'am, start from right side.